Good morning. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I'm getting started a little bit late, <coughs> but I had this cough, so I just got done with my nebulizer, and I'm going to go have a nice cup of tea and go start the car. It's like negative four outside, so we'll see how fast I get that moving. Anyway, so today's theme is love what you do. You know, I think I've said this over and over and over again. You have to be passionate about what you do. You have to love what you do. You have to do it so much. So love it. <laughs> if you don't love what you do, why are you doing it? I know that might sound selfish to some. You know, I remember having a conversation with my granddad years and years and years ago. And he's like, you don't have to love what you do. You just have to do it. And I was like, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, when you have responsibilities and paying bills and rent and all those other things, you just have to have a job. He goes, you, you know, my parents didn't necessarily love what they did and they did it their whole lives. And I went, okay, that's fair. That's what they did. But I pointed out to him, we live in a, an era where we have the choice. We actually, most of us have a choice of what we do. We can choose to do so many things. We can also entrap ourselves or we can choose not to entrap ourselves. And he wasn't very solicitous with this. <laughs> he was very adamant that you just had a job and you did it. You know, if you were privileged enough to have an education that you could do something else, then that was great. But otherwise, you just did it. And, you know, I've I've always worked. I've even when I haven't worked, I've worked, you know, like you you have a job and you know, I've had jobs I didn't like. But I always did things that kept my passion going and kept my zest for life. And I've done a lot of different things because. I love life more than anything. I love living life and experiencing life and and the journey to wherever it is that I'm going. Um, I have a a zest for for doing new things. Not everybody has that, but you should find a place of peace in what it is that you do. You know, I've had jobs that I really enjoyed for a little while, and then I didn't like them so much after a while. I got bored, or I didn't enjoy the people I was with. And we are social creatures. Even the most introverted person I know is somewhat of a social creature. We have a community we belong to. So it love what you do shouldn't just be the only theme. It should also be find your community and find your support and um, enjoy those people that are around you because they love you. We have been spinning some grand theories here, cosmology, facts, hopes, desires, but in the end, my friends, we have come to one basic reality. There come moments in your life when you realize you have only one thing, and that is yourself. All of the props you are using during your lifetime make yourself feel at ease in the world will eventually fail. If you have been in a relationship with others who have fed meaning into your life, someday you will awaken and find yourself alone. If you have children, they grow up. If you have an important position, you will retire or it will be taken from you. If you have beauty, you will become old. If you are powerful, you become weak. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm trying to read ahead because you don't want the boring parts. When you finally realize that renunciation is not working, the next attempt will be to will yourself not to be angry, and then your face becomes a mask. You have to keep smiling because if you start to relax, you might cry, you might scream, or you might do something inappropriate. And then you manipulate your environment. <clears throat> you came to the earth plane to experience the full range of emotions and, and become the master of those emotions. Mastery comes by realizing that you can choose your responses which thoughts to pull in and what actions to bring in your life. You have to love yourself before you can have mastery. I think it's really important that 
when you're looking at loving what you do, you have to know who you are. And sometimes that takes a long time to figure out. You know, I'm, I'm an ex high school teacher. I'm an ex educator. I'm still an educator, but I don't work in the public school system. And I was not very popular with uh, college prep people. They hated me. <laughs> and honestly, maybe they were right to not like me because my philosophy is very different from others. I really think that people need to go out and experience life before they go to college. A year, a two, or three years even. Because <coughs> at 18, it's rarely that you really know what you're going to do. Now, sometimes you're trapped in that whole scholarship circle where if you don't go to school right away, the scholarships aren't there. Which I think is a shame. I think if you qualify for scholarships, they should be there when you're ready to go. But that's a whole different conversation. Um, but to go out and live life first so that you know what you want to do with your life. So that you can love what you do. Or at least know your personality better. To have a better idea of what skills and knowledge you need to get where you're going. So... It's negative numbers out there. It's really cold, but we had some beautiful snow over the weekend. It's beautiful outside. It's that blue color in the morning before the sun really comes up. I love that look. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Find your peace. Phelan is over here like trying to pull stuff out of a drawer. <laughs> it's such a goofy cat. And... Uh, I will see you tomorrow in prayer. Blessed be.